right, so today we're doing a pre-slab uh, inspection. Uh, the inspectors are here, and people always ask me, what is a pre-slab uh, inspection all about? And so we don't do them very often, but as I say, inspections are just like insurance. You never know when you're gonna need them. Every uh, job site is different, and so it doesn't hurt to have that uh, confirmation that things are being done right on the job site but let's talk to the inspectors and find out what this is all about all right sir yes sir Sorry to bother you, but I gotta ask you really quick. Let's First of all, who am I speaking with here? PJ, Inside and Out Property Inspectors. Awesome. Uh, I'm very fortunate to work with these guys quite often, and so I feel comfortable that I can rely on them and their expertise. Because sometimes, as a real estate professional, I don't know what I'm looking about, uh, looking at. And this is a this is called a pre-slab inspection, right? You're learning well. Right, and <laughs> and. All I know is these are form boards that are done right before they do the uh, the pour the concrete slab. So there's a lot of important stuff that needs to happen here before they pour that concrete slab. So what are you guys looking for, PJ? Really the height of the form boards and make sure they're proper, they're level, you get the right depth, the width, um, that everything's been dug out to meet the requirements of whatever the permit and plans say. The engineer's gonna call for certain specs based on the, the size of the house. We wanna make sure those specs are being met um, sometimes it does get mixed where you know two-story houses have different than single story and the, the guys installing it don't realize that and make a little boo-boo so we're just here to make sure everything's on the up and up mistakes happen we're here to make sure they get corrected before the concrete gets poured in the foundation set a lot harder to fix then it's easy to fix now a couple tweaks so okay. really looking at that the plumbing make sure it's in its proper location so it doesn't end up in your kitchen living room when it's supposed to be a bathroom. So we verify that the plumbing's installed where it needs to be. Okay, so uh, anything with electrical or is this just mostly the plumbing pipes it, underneath? Anything that we can see visible. So the rebar, we make sure it's tied correctly, the spacing's correctly, the electrical outlets, if, uh, matter of fact, this house here, they have an island, so we wanna make sure there's a chase already in place for the electrical so they don't have to chisel it out later on down the road. Um, just making sure all of those things are in place. Any plumbing, um, is toilets, sinks, tubs, that they're all installed and you have water supply to those areas as well. Yeah, and you were saying earlier, sometimes you'll see plumbing coming from the concrete slab from running underneath the concrete slab to the exterior of the house. Sometimes you'll see it going up through the roof line, through the attic sometimes? Yes, so with the new PEX piping, it's not uncommon for builders to do the plumbing in the attic versus running it through the slab. Um, so sometimes the plans won't dictate exactly what they're gonna do. Um, so we'll just verify and ask the builder to verify, hey, we are planning on doing in wall and ceiling plumbing so that it's not supposed to be in a slab. This way they don't pour the slab and realize they're boo-boo, now they're trenching. So just verifying exactly what the builder has in mind. Okay, and then one last question. Yeah. I know here in Northeast Florida, because of our grounds, our sand, our dirt, we also have a lot of settling and sometimes you'll see minor cracks and foundations and whatnot. Are you looking at anything regarding that as far as how deep the pour of the slab is on we the do. form boards? We use a water level, so we'll verify. So this particular house is a four inch slab. Okay. So we will go around and make sure that they've achieved the four inch slab, that it's deep enough. And then we'll take measurements and in your report, you'll get those measurements. Okay. And then when we do your pre drywall inspection, because you're going to hire us to do your pre-drywall inspection as well. Right. We'll come back in with that same device, measure the actual slab, and now you have a baseline that we know this is our set zero. So in the future, five, six years down the road, you have some settling. Yeah. We've already established the baseline of what level was. Okay. So if you get a quarter inch slip, let's say in the left corner, it's going to be documented, hey, to 2024, this was our measurement, now it's 2027, and we're a quarter inch lower, we've got some. All right, so we got cut off on that last one, but uh, as we were saying, if you have the measurements from your slab report, pre-slab report from 2024, and you have any settling that is above and beyond what is normal here in Northeast Florida, now you have record of it, because warranty, structural uh, warranties cover up to 10 years, I believe, correct? correct? And if the, if the crack in your slab is, 
what over a quarter inch quarter inch is the tolerance level quarter inch is a tolerance level then warranty is required to cover it that's quite a bit but you can't uh, just go to warranty and and hope that they'll pay for it it always helps to have a third party like these guys that actually have measurements from 2024 because these problems are going to happen in in five six seven eight right. years that's why it's a 10-year warranty so you want to have that record that's how valuable this report is so that should you have any problems in the future which they are always problems with these homes in the future um, that you can go ahead and you have a foot to stand on and getting remediation from warranty without any charge so that's why these uh, inspections are so important um, is there anything else you wanted to add just being proactive you know that's that's the key to the whole building process is being proactive with the builder and what the future looks like for you guys because there's a lot of information in these reports not just what's wrong but documentation of where everything's at, which could help. If you had a slab leak, there's photos of exactly where your plumbing is at. Helps the uh, contractors know exactly where to dig in your foundation so they don't have to tear up your whole living room. So there's a lot of benefits that are can go on and on and we can make a 30 minute video of the benefits, but being proactive um, and documentation now for the future is always the key. Cool. I think we're going to do that. I have a Thursday Night Live. I'm going to bring these guys on and we can talk 30 minutes for those people in debt. So, I PJ, look to it. I always appreciate you yes, guys sir. here at Inside and Out Property Inspectors. We're going to be doing a Thursday Night Live definitely with these guys. We're going to dig into it a little bit more. But we thank you as always for Absolutely. watching out for our clients and making sure their builds are the way they should be. It's all it's about. All right. So, make sure you subscribe. Check us out upcoming on a thursday night we're going to bring these guys on we're going to talk about all about more about inspections and we're also going to open up to you for any questions that you may have so make sure you subscribe and we look forward to seeing you there